Next repair we are having here is uh, also a BTG printer and from the information we've got of the owner the pump has to be clean or sh we should say that there's no uh, there's no pressure or the pump is not sucking this ink which can be seen on the tubes the air pockets don't go to the or the ink don't go to the cartridge so probably something is wrong with the pump probably the pump is clogged so first we're gonna and to get to the pump we need to disassemble all these parts and get the chassis out to get to the pump to see what's wrong there so that's what we're gonna do first um, we've already got some uh, screws out so this is the keyboard we will disconnect that This printer has these two panels to the front, so we will move that also. Now the pump is visible. Oh yeah, um, they said they tried to clean the pump up a bit, but they probably once you uh, remove this plastic part down from the pump it's really hard to mount it back if the chassis is not out so probably they couldn't get it back in its place maybe even they they even cleaned it a bit but they couldn't mount it back from what I can tell right now so for sure we have to remove the chassis out and uh, disassemble all this so now to disconnect the cables we actually have to move this top cover panel, however you want to call it, because we can't move the chassis out, otherwise this is uh, also a DTG printer with uh, manual lifting system but it's a model with more accessible way to get to the chassis so we won't be touching the lifting system we'll just remove the chassis and unplug it are the flat cables and we'll be pulling out and what else the mortar cable and we will still have to disconnect the sensors for the head lifting over there and have to unplug the motor and the pump cable it's a bit crampy over here but reachable couple of screws holding the chassis on the lifting mechanism
unplugging the sensors now and we should be able to get the printer out but also we got this this system that we have to disconnect or maybe maybe we could do without disconnecting but the easiest way is to disconnect it it's just the four pipes over here so I'll put that back later I got the chassis out this part over here we got a somewhat uh, interesting situation over here and not that not that usual uh, besides this uh, this uh, plastic piece that inks ink flows through it we got some uh, we'll show how to mount that back but there's a bigger issue with this pump and it's almost barely visible i don't know if you can see that on camera but this side of the this is the capping station that uh, that is uh, standing right here on the pump so it's barely barely visible but this side of the seal has been uh, torn torn off the seal or the gasket has been torn off so when the capping station covers the head from below there's a place here when the pump is uh, sucking the pump is activated uh, probably it's partially it takes the air in so uh, there's not enough pressure to pull the ink through the head uh i don't know it's barely visible with the even with the trained eye but there is uh probably uh when the owner probably was uh, trying to clean the seal off uh, there's uh there's gonna be some rubberized ink sticked to it so probably when he grabbed the ring the ink ring over here he probably grabbed the seal too so he tore tore it off so now we got uh capping with half a seal on it and that's that's no good we will gonna have to replace that also the third the third issue we had with this pump is that this spring over here was pretty much covered with uh, with uh, ink so we got that cleaned off as good as we could and so what happens is that the capping station closing and opening is uh, could be maybe not not in uh, all cases but could be too slow so the head is wants to go out quick out of its position and the capping station is closing too slow because of the ink holding this spring over here so also we got that clean so now we're gonna we're gonna take this capping which as you can see has the whole seal on it and we're gonna place that one over there into this pump because pump is probably okay it's not it's just not sealing good enough so you have to move this spring which will also be uh, placed in the pump over here because this one was uh, stretched a bit so 
probably that one would work also but we will go ahead and put this one which is is much better condition this is unmounted like this pretty simple two pipes from below we also got that uh, pipes clean so this is the main pipe for the ink you put that over there maybe other way around is better and we got this pump over here so let me just try to put that one back as well place it place the pipe first for the hole and one moment it's a bit tricky there so now that we got pipe through the hole we should place the capping on the spring it has its own um, slot for the spring and push the capping back inside the pump so and now this is how it should be working I think that's okay and now what we have to do is uh, oh yeah we have to put the spring back also uh, let me just now it's moving a bit capping is moving a bit more when we put the spring inside and that's all good now we have to mount this part that the owner already uh, dismantled goes like this first you put it here on the left side of the pump on its it's got a slot on the upper side push these pipes back on and this pipe uh, it's even easier if you put this pipe before but since we didn't do that it's as good as good time as any like this this is the exit pipe for the waste ink we will connect now the two pipes from the drum that's one that's two and this is the pipe from the capping all right so we got the pump ready and we will be putting that back inside the chassis and chassis inside the printer so now we are gonna mount the head back into the chassis but while we're at it we're gonna clean clean this bottom side of the head a bit also because it's easier to do now than when the the chassis is mounted but it's pretty for some DTG printers it's pretty clean from below let's just put that 
square it up this side and all right Okay, I think it's in place. And now we have to put a few screws on it. It felt out of place a bit. So we're gonna put this rear screw to hold it in place better. Alright, we got that one. Side holder. Side holder has one screw on the outside okay now the front screw doesn't need to be too tight because there will be some dismantling in the future and as you can see even the tiniest parts on the pump may cause some problems but that's nothing unusual because things that are working and even making money tend to wear down they are not undestructible so with time to time they need to be replaced and usually how it's done it's on site it's not done on the phone or anything similar like that what I've been trying to explain to most users but sooner or later they figure it out one more screw uh, for the ground wire and we are basically done the next thing to do is to mount the chassis back inside there are a few more things that we are usually doing when we are doing some other repairs usually from time to time you need to clean this encoder strip you need to push the air out of the cartridges so that's what we're gonna do right now so you see there's a quite a bit of air inside the cartridge and the less the less air you have in uh, cartridge the better so what you need to do is to remove this white cork and lift the outside cartridges a bit so the ink will slowly go into cartridges and push the air out that's what you need to do on any other 
printer no matter what purpose you use it for but if you have a CIS system or CISS system however you want to call it you have to uh, remove the air from the cartridges from time to time it's slowly filling so there's some bubbles coming out see from this side you can see when the bubbles stop coming out a bit more a bit more all right now this is how the cartridge should look like at most of time but we're gonna check the black one also all right it's close to the close to the top okay so this this means this one didn't have that much air pockets inside the pipes and we have red red is almost almost completely empty so you see the difference now the black is almost completely full and the red is completely empty. Shouldn't be like that, but that's why we are doing the checks. Because in most times, uh, users either forget to do it or they do it. Uh, until it stops printing until it prints it's good until it stops it's no good and they wanna go for a repair but maybe sometime you don't have to repair anything if you keep keep it in order and regularly check the things you have to check so then maybe you would be having less repairs. So, some bubbles on the top, but it feels pretty fast and that's a good sign so the pipes are pretty much clean all right bit more okay we got that one filled also now only cyan left it's some maybe 60 percent full which is not that bad but nevertheless we have to push the air out also feels pretty fast that's good 
and no bubbles maybe a few only a few all right so this one is good also we're going to put that back on the head because the head cannot be uh, too long without coverage and because the ink has already gone through the head if it was the case with the new head then there's no problem but when it's used and ink already went through you need to keep it as short as, as possible on the air this is the piece that uh, collects the alcohol or cleaning solution if you have a user that uh, likes to clean a head likes to keep it a bit cleaner then there's a possibility of uh, uh, alcohol going on the cable so to prevent that we put some uh, soaking material on the side so that's gonna help if uh, any spills happen we have to add this additional pipe which is taken from the original printer but it's useful also for the DTG we're gonna maybe a bit further push it a bit further all right I think that's good and we can put this on or we don't have to but it's a good thing to since it's a printer with lifting mechanism the good thing is to secure the pipe with the zip tie onto the chassis somewhere over here because it goes to the from side to the back so maybe through this holder just to keep it in place maybe it's better put it over here it's a little tricky because it wants to twist around Actually, have to cut that off. 